Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Thanks for watching. My name's Dean Croak, also known as the Grumpy Peak. I've got a selection of old school trucks today, starting with Brian Dax, longtime owner operator from Two Rivers, Wisconsin. Spent a lot of years building the Red Giant. Uh, it's considered to be the longest and most unique fifth wheel tractor in the world. It's a rolling media center and advertising outlet. It's got two huge LED screens and sound. Um, Brian's company is uh, Rio Mobile Media. Um, originally the Diamond Rio had a 260 inch wheelbase, 3406B cat, 425 horsepower, 18 speed on 355 rears. Um, he spent a lot of years uh, hauling cheese out of Wisconsin, but after about 2.6 million miles, he, he took the Rio to a uh, location, I'm not sure where it was, to make the rolling billboard a reality. Today, as you can see, it's a pretty long truck. It's got a 430-inch wheelbase, a 252-inch ICT custom bunk. Uh, it's got 16-foot slide-outs on each side. Each side's got 11 by 6 LED screens, and these screens can be programmed to run multiple paid ads that run in a loop, uh, of course, creating a revenue stream for the truck. So it's a rolling mobile media communications and marketing center. Uh, primarily today, Brian doesn't haul anything with the truck. It's probably too heavy to put anything in, so it's essentially a communication center. Um, the rig is still powered by a 3406B cat, still got an 18 speed, um, but it now runs on 3.08 rears. This video was taken in uh, North Carolina, I think. This next one is a 1955 West Coast International. I took this video here on uh, Christmas Day, I think, um, 2023, parked at the Petro truck stop in Sparks. Gorgeous old truck. Uh, apparently the truck has a B model Caterpillar two transmissions. It's just a classic old truck, but a 1955 trucks still running these days. It's owned by Antique Enterprises out of New Mexico. didn't get a chance to catch up with the driver. I always have a policy of not waking up anybody in a truck that's idling uh, for fear that they'll be sleeping and they'll get angry with me. This next truck was at the Truckers for Hope show in Millhall, PA. Fantastic old Kenworth. Uh, beautiful truck. The, the bumper bar with the uh, bulldozer blade um, effect on the front. It's really eye-catching. Great old truck. 1693 TA Caterpillar engine. Seriously old school from right here. Some of the Nolt trucks, beautiful A model. Uh, I think this was on I 80. We were heading uh, cross country on our road trip and we spotted this one somewhere in Pennsylvania, I think. Uh, I might be wrong, maybe it was Ohio anyway. Gorgeous truck, we've got a beautiful fleet of trucks. I'll let you sit back and enjoy the rest of the trucks. This was an old Peterbilt uh, taken in Ohio. Uh, but if you like what you see, please subscribe, uh, like the video and add a comment in. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching everyone.
your model? It's 359. Yeah. What year model? What's that? What year? 85. 85. What transmissions in there? 13.
here we are. So what the, what year model is this? It's a 1986 SAR Kenworth. It's an 86. This is the yep. special golden nugget. Was that what no, that is? No, it's not actually a golden nugget. It's a special edition were 10 replicas that were built by Kenworth that were absolutely identical to gold nuggets. Right. Uh, they were built for Timpat Transport. Oh. Um, but they were never delivered, apparently, and even, man, oh. they all went to independent companies over the years. Tim Pat had the really quick trucks, didn't they? They did, yes, yeah. I remember yeah. being passed by those. Uh, this thing's been changed from the original mechanical 892 to an electronic 892. Right. Um, apart from the colour, it's all pretty standard. Right. Um, bit of modernising around the place, but it's uh, oh, 18 look. speed double overdrive, 411, 462 Eaton's. Wow. Um, I like the deck plates, so that lifts up. Yeah, that all just undoes and just slides out, so you get full access to under there. Right. Same as the little, same as the back one. It just clips off and. Wow, that's interesting. You've got the uh, covers on the yeah, they're just, brake just hub caps put on the end of the brake roosters to make yeah. them look a bit dressier. So you sandblasted and painted the whole chassis. Yes, yeah, yeah. We put the Kenworth eight bag in it. Yep. Because it was originally factory torsion bar. Yep. And uh, then was converted to four spring in its life, and right. then we converted to eight bag when we bought it. So I've got um, Sam Newell back at home. I've asked him to for some ideas on this to yep. do this on the back of my Peterbilt. Okay, I okay. like this yep. idea. So these unlock. Yeah, they unlock. We just they're not actually locked, right. so that just clips up like that. Right. I'm a little... Oh, I okay. like I like that. That's a really good idea. Look how dirty it is under there. Yeah, now oh, that's good. good. <laughs> so it just slides in and these pins. Yeah. Oh, okay. Great. Great, great, great. How much tyre worth now? Say like a good reputable tyre, like a Michelin or something like that. It's sort of $600 a drive tyre. Some of them will be around the $800. Um, steer tyres about $1,000. Yeah, so it all adds up pretty quickly. You can buy some cheaper brand tyres as you can, but they don't really last. It's been false economised, I think. Not No. I like that. That is a great yeah. idea, Warren. That's exactly what I'll do. Yep. I'll get Sam to do that on my truck. Because I've got just stainless steel double tape down the chassis rail. Oh, yeah, just, just, the, yep, yep. And every, That's time, just, yep. every time you've got to get under it, you've got to pull it off and it bends yep. the stainless. Yep. So that'll be. Uh, yeah, that's just a bit of 5mm aluminium with a pressed edge and right. no, nothing real technical. So these are 440s or 400 litres? 400s, about 400. 4 400 400 on this thing. Yeah, 4 400 litres. That one's split for hydraulics. Oh, so you've got a wet line system there. Yeah. Yep. 86 model. Wow, what a classic. So, you going to start it up? I think I've got the kit. Go on, you've got to listen to this. Oh, yeah. It's a nice truck, Mum. Isn't it nice? Yeah. Yeah, the thing about Australian trucks is they're much higher. You can see how high the sleeper cab is off the chassis. 